Would you like to make your own drinking water filter? Then you have come to the right place. In this video from The Daily Eco, we explain step by step how to make a homemade water filter. So let's get started. Materials for the production of the water filter. All you need is the following. A large plastic container about one meter high. We recommend that you get a barrel that already has a tap or buy a very simple container to put it in place. Gravel, fine sand, small and medium stones, activated carbon, natural cotton or polyfill. Number one, prepare and clean the materials. The first step is to prepare and clean the materials that we will use. The plastic container is cleaned with water and antibacterial soaps, while the stones and sand are also cleaned with water and stirred to remove impurities without adding soap. It is important that the water tank is well closed so that it can be filled with water and emptied through an upper and lower stopcock to remove impurities. Number two, start making the filter. When making the filter, you need to alternate the layers of different materials in the right order so that they can perform their function. Start with the bottom layers and work your way up to the top. The order in which you should add the materials is as follows. A layer of cotton or polyfill between 3 and 6 cm. A layer of medium stones with a height of about 25 cm. A layer of small stones with a height of about 12 cm. A layer of gravel with a height of 3 cm. A layer of activated carbon with a height of 3 cm. This layer significantly increases the filtering properties of the system. A layer of gravel with a height of about 2 cm. A layer of fine sand with a height of about 6 cm. A layer of gravel with a height of 6 cm. A layer of small rounded pebbles with a height of 12 cm. And if you want to make it easier, you can apply only these five layers. Cotton, activated carbon, fine sand, coarse sand, medium or small stones. Then, put the water on the filter and run it through the material that will catch all the particles that we want to filter. Number three, check the function of the filter. A transparent tube can also be installed at the same height as the system outlet at the bottom to measure the volume of the water filter. If the volume of the water in the tube is the same as in the filter, this will indicate that the manufacture of the filter is not adequate, while if the level is slightly lower, it means that it's successful. On the other hand, if the water level is very low, this indicates that the system is clogged. Although this tube is not necessary, you can use it to see how the filter is working. Operation and maintenance of the water filter. The filter cleans impurities from the incoming water. It works in such a way that the impurities in the water enter through the upper part of the system, pass through the different layers and then reach the lower part of the system clean and free of impurities. With this filter, it is possible to remove most of the impurities from the incoming water. However, if the system is to be used by the whole family, another container should be provided to store the clean water. The material must be disassembled and cleaned every six months. As for the maintenance of the filter, it is advisable to disassemble it about every six months to clean the sand, stones and gravel and replace the activated carbon since it loses its filtering properties over time. If it is used intensively, we should also do it before. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section and see you next time.